Hello, doTERRA family. I'm so excited to connect with you on this, this uh, Facebook Live. I have a very, very special guest with me. I have Christina Bedell here with us. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Emily, for having me today. <laughs> <laughs> excited to celebrate you today. Christina is our very first U.S. Founder 2.0. And for some of you that may remember, we announced this at our leadership retreat event earlier this year. And uh, this was after a lot of conversation with our original US founders, and they wanted to open up an opportunity for, for a new generation of founders to come forward. And so as we have opened up this opportunity, Christina is our very, very first US founder 2.0. We have 200 spots, so now 199 left. And we figured it would take about 18 months to two years to fill up all of these spots. And Christina, she does what she, she has done since she started with doTERRA. She kind of defies all odds and uh, just comes, comes with so much gusto and so much excitement and enthusiasm. So uh, you see this just beautiful, beautiful woman. I want to share a little bit with you about Christina. Um, because I know many of you are saying, how did she do it? I want to know her secret sauce. I want to know all of her tricks. And uh, I think she's very willing to share with you how she arrived where she is today. But Christina, I met you when you came for that North America um, Latino. Uh, Camino I believe. Latino. Yes. Was it in 2019? Is that when we met the first time? Yes, last year. And I was a yeah. silver leader by that time. Right. Well, for a short time, because you enrolled, what was it, September 2018, and then by October 2019, you were already diamond. Yes, and so you, yes. So you turned diamond just a couple of months after we met, when you were just a baby silver, and then you went blue diamond in April of this year, and then in July, in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, you went presidential diamond, doTERRA's very highest rank. So, so I know everyone's saying, okay, because as we started, uh, you know, this pandemic hit, many of our wellness advocates have had to pivot. They were doing a lot of in-person events and, you know, trying to figure out how do I now go outside of my warm market? How do I contact people? How do I really share the doTERRA message? And so I would love for you to share um, some of your magic. How how are you contacting people? I'm sure you've had to pivot as well. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Well, you know, I I am from Venezuela, and uh, Venezuela is a third world country full of problems and difficult situations. So Venezuelans, we were born to find solutions over problems in order to survive, not to live. In order to survive. So when this global pandemic hit, uh, you, you have two options in anything in life, right? And it, and it was our decision to see the situation in a negative or in a positive way. So I thought, okay, this is a very difficult situation, but we have three very good things here that we can use as an advantage for our businesses. So the first thing is that people were going to be more at home and they were gonna have more time to use their oils, to study, to investigate, because you know they will be at home, right? This, the second thing is that they were going to have more time, okay? In our normal crazy lives, we always say that, I don't have time, I don't have time. And here, it was like the world stopped and it was a gift for us, like, hey, you now have time. And people were also thinking about their jobs and their situation. And doTERRA is a very good opportunity to work from home, right? And also, people were having more health concerns than ever before. So we had the, the solution, right? These natural solutions that could help them with their concerns. So actually, for me, the pandemic situation was a huge opportunity to teach people what we had in order to help them, you know, with, with their concerns. And that's what I try to, to teach to my team. Hey, this is a good opportunity for us. For, and, and I'm always trying to inspire them and show them that, hey, it is possible. And, and that is what happened. The pandemic for our team 
was amazing. What I mean was like crazy. Everybody, like a lot of people. Yeah, so it was for me, being a man, choice to say this is positive or this is negative. And I always try to see the side of the situation. So, yeah. <laughs> so, have you, did you start your business online or were you more person to person um, type of type of a builder? Yeah. yeah, well, actually I have always used Instagram since I started my business. Actually, before doTERRA, I used a lot of Instagram to share about, you know, my personal life, some tips about my baby or whatever. And then when doTERRA came into my life, I, I had already built this community that had been joining me for a few years before. And then when I started sharing the oils, it was easier because they were, they already knew me, you know, they trust me. So for me, Instagram and social media in general, it's very, very important to connect to people that are not, you know, I'm from Venezuela, so I'm an immigrant in this country. And a lot of my friends and family are all around the world. So the only way I have to get connected with them is by social media. It's, it's the only way we have to know about each other. So I, I knew how to take advantage of that tool. And that's what I use for everything in life. Like I work on my phone eight hours a day. That's, that's my life there. <laughs> our phones have become our computers, haven't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So you are not only um, a U.S. founder 2.0, you're also a prime wellness founder. You're also a North America Latino founder. You're almost a, a founder in Colombia. You've won the incentive trip. Um, you're, you're, you're a pretty impressive woman. You're moving through the ranks very quickly. And I hope you see all of the comments. Like there's so many people congratulating you and celebrating you right now. So I hope that you can feel all of the love from the doTERRA family. So I would love to know, you said um, that you that you have used Instagram to communicate. And a lot of people are coming into the world of social media. Um, they probably had accounts before, maybe Facebook and Instagram that probably haven't used them to really grow their doTERRA business. And many people are wondering, how do I use this platform um, without violating who I, who I am and, and really keeping that authenticity and communicating with their friends and their family about their babies and their family and their kids' soccer games? How, how do you use that as a vehicle to introduce people to doTERRA and then convert them over to becoming a customer or a wellness advocate? Well, first of all, Emily, I teach my team that social media helps a lot, but it's not the only way, right? Because I've known a lot of leaders, actually presidential diamonds, that they have grown their business without using social media. So that's very important to understand because I don't want people to feel like, hey, this is the only way and I am shy to talk up in front of the camera. Hey, this helps, but this is not the only way. But if you want to do it this way, for me, it's perfect to show how I use the products, right? In on my daily life. Because that being uh, doing it that way, I show my authenticity. I open at the doors of my house to the people that are following me and I show them, hey, this is how I use with my husband, with my kid, with my mom, with me, myself. And when they see the, the results, the positive results, it's like nothing is strongest than your own testimony and your mm -hmm. positive personal experience. And social media, it's such a beautiful way to do it in a very authentic way because you, you cannot fake. I mean, I, I mean, of course you can put some filters in your photos and everything, but I use a lot of stories, right? Which is like the daily life when you see me like with my hairs like this and after doing exercise and crazy life. So yes, I try to be very natural. I try to show me as I am a, a normal mom, 
you know, being a, a Latina in another country, an immigrant, I'm far away from my parents, from my social, I mean, from my family circle. So I think that also connects to people because when you show vulnerability and when you show that, you know, you're normal as everyone else, then people can relate to you. And that has been the, the most powerful powerful tool for me, showing showing people the way I am and how these oils has changed my life. So yeah. you you're you're amazing and just keeping it real. And I think that's what people are really looking for these days is authenticity and connection. Right. And in a world yeah. where we're feeling so divided and so polarized right now, you have done such a fantastic job of just connecting people bringing them together, finding this common cause, and really creating a movement. And you you have done that. And I've seen many people are saying, I'm so, I'm so proud to be on your team. I think they're, oh, they yeah. just feel that, that pride. So I would love for you to share with our wellness advocates, because we're on the, we're on the business page, right? They're here, they're hungry for all of these juicy tidbits. You have inspired so many on your team to build the business with you. And that's something that I hear a lot from our wellness advocates as of late is I, I'm not attracting business builders. I'm getting a lot of people that want to use the product because we're in a time where people want to strengthen their bodies and they want to you know, help calm their minds, but uh, really having a hard time finding people that want to build the business with them. So I would love to know what process do you go through? What language do you use to really inspire all of these women to come and join forces with you to, to build with you? <laughs> okay, well, I think it's very important, Emily. And actually, I didn't know this when I started the business. When I started the business, I did a lot of intro classes. I only talk about the products. And that was my focus, product, product, product. But then I understood that the opportunity about the business, it's also a magnificent wellness opportunity for people. So when I understood that I was I was sharing physical, emotional, and mental health, but also when I talk about the business, I was also offering a beautiful financial opportunity, then my my dialogue to the people changed and I start talking more about the business. So right now for me it's like a 50-50. Okay, so I talk about the product but I also talk a lot about the business. And that way, a lot of people come to me interested about the business. So sometimes it's not that people don't want to do it. It's they don't know that they can do it. So the only way we have, it's communicated that, hey, this is a huge opportunity. This can change your life. And I also communicate that every time I achieve a rank, every time I win an incentive trip, every time I do something really good for my business, I communicate it to the world. So they can know that this is possible because I am exactly as them, a normal person. I don't have extra capability for something. So they can see it's this is a real opportunity. They can relate with me and, you know, they can get inspired and give them the opportunity to try it. So I think the best tip I can give you is talk a little bit more about the, the business. If you do that, believe me, people will, will be interested in, you know, in trying. Yeah, that's fantastic. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, but I don't hear me. Okay, I think my, yeah, for some reason my camera is gone, but that's okay. We'd much rather look at you. So. But um, <laughs> You can yeah. click on a little icon that says camera and let's, maybe the let's camera will come back. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Here we go. It's trying. Yes. Here we go. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome. I, what, I, what I get from hearing you is that it's all about confidence. People are attracted to whatever it is you're excited about. So you talk about product, right? As you put it out there and people see you using the product in a real environment and they, they want to they want to have what you have. And so that invites them into this whole new world of natural remedies. 
But then as you sit with them, you get to talk about the business with great confidence in yeah. knowing that, hey, it, it works, right? It can work for you and really to see them in a position where, where they can take flight, right? And they, and they yeah. can make this work for them and for their families. And I think people will rely on that. A lot of times I see people um, where they're a little bit more hesitant, like, oh, you know, I don't know if you're interested in the business, almost apologizing before they even have the conversation or apologizing as they introduce the enrollment kits. Ah, oh, you don't need to spend this much. And, and really don't, don't make that decision for them, right? Yeah. Invite them in, let them make that decision for them and come yeah, in with full confidence and knowing yeah. you're giving them a beautiful gift. Yes. And yeah. I, always, I always tell my team, Emily, because the first compensation plan class I gave, I was an elite leader. Okay, so by that time, my earnings were around $200, maybe $300. And yes. I, you know, I sat in front of 10 people and I start talking about this is the fast start bonus and the power of three. And I, I had so much confidence and trust in the business and in the opportunity that people were like, I can't believe you're an elite. And I'm like, yes, I'm an elite and I'm going to be a presidential diamond. And this is the way to do it. And so I tell my team like, hey, it doesn't matter your rank. It doesn't matter if you really believe in the, in the business and in the opportunity, you're going to make it. But everything starts in your own belief. You need to believe. And, yes. and, and that's what I do. I do believe in doTERRA and that's why this club is so important because I'm positive that doTERRA is going to still grow and grow and grow with no limits. So mm -hmm. having a spot here, it's like having a life insurance that you can cash out while you're alive. So you need to be here, people, 199 spots. It's like the most democratic well, a founders club you could ever create it. It's, it's so democratic, like everyone can be here. It's, it's not impossible. Uh, I agree with you. And I just, I feel your enthusiasm. You've inspired me. Like, I want to be a US founder, but you're <laughs> absolutely right. Like belief is everything. Your team will rely upon your belief until they have that belief in themselves right? And believe mm -hmm. in the product, believe in the company, but then believe in themselves and believe in their team. And you exude that. I remember meeting you when you were just a baby silver and you <laughs> had that, the same level of belief then that you have now as a presidential diamond. You knew where you were going. You had such clarity in your vision and you knew nothing was going to stop you. Who would have known that there would have been a worldwide pandemic that, that showed up when it did and you didn't use that as an excuse. You use that as an opportunity. Yes, and I, yes. I and love that about you. Yes, and that's what I what I try to teach my team. Like the the first steps may seem a little bit challenging because you are just you know starting to get to know the product, starting to get to know the opportunity. But it is real. It is so real. It 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 really changed your life. So it's a gift that you're giving to yourself, to your family, to your kids, and to so many people that you're impacting that there is no way. When you understand the importance of, and the relevance it has, there is no way you don't fight for it, right? When, when it's really deep inside your heart, there is no way you just say, sit down like, hey, well, maybe someday, no, someday, no, you have to do it now and make a plan and work for it. Yes, absolutely. Seize the moment, right? I, yeah. I love that. You cannot wait. So when we look at our numbers for the U.S. Founders Club 2.0, the opportunity is absolutely there for anyone still today, right? Whether they're enrolling today whether whether they've been with doTERRA for years and years and are just now saying, oh, you know, maybe this is an opportunity for, for me, there is still opportunity for each and every person and everything in between to lock in one of these spots. So for those that are looking at this saying, is it possible for me to come in and share in 2% 
of the next billion, right? And we're already into the next billion. So there's already going to be a check that they'll receive, that you'll receive in 2021. So is there that opportunity for them? And what is your advice to those people that are just on the fence saying, should I still go for this? Is it worth it? <laughs> it is, it is. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand the relevance and the importance to have a spot here, okay? As I, as I just said, it's like having a life insurance, a life insurance that you cash out while you're alive in a solid and beautiful company that is still going to grow and grow and grow. So first of all, try to think about that for a minute and how the decisions you make today are going to impact your next 5, 10, 15 years. OK, so it's like you have to do like a short term sacrifices because it's like a one year and a half maybe two of hard work for the rest of your life okay so first of all try to think about that then of course you need to sit down and understand all the requirements that are needed because at first emily i have to be honest when i saw the all the requirements I thought like, oh my God, this is too complicated. No way, I won't do this. I'm already a founder. It's okay, with one I'm fine. <laughs> and, then, and then I checked it again and my account manager helped me a lot. Priyam, I love you if you're listening to me. And he helped me understand it and I say, okay, I think I can do it. So this is like a numbers game, okay? It's like a numbers game. If you understand the numbers, then you create a plan Okay, I, I created like a Google Sheet, a Google, a Google Excel, and then there I created three different scenarios. So the first scenario was, okay, I'm going to reach this in six months. The second one, one year, and the third one, one year and a half. So the three of them were possible because you have to give yourself flexibility you don't you cannot be that hard like if i don't do it in one year no you, you i mean three scenarios and then because it's what i've learned emily is that when you when you have a small goals it's easier because you can celebrate those small victories instead of watching like the biggest huge far away goal no no don't think about the huge goal think about what you need to do month by month in order to get there so i created the three scenarios based on that plan like a small victories each month and for me the month could not end until i reach those goals so if for example i said i'm going to enroll i don't know eight people this month and in the second month four of those eight are going to be in the letter p oh my god i wouldn't sleep until i reach that <laughs> So it's about having a plan and stick to it with all your heart, with all your soul, with your, all your intentions. And most important, make your team want this with the same force that you want it. Because this is not a business where you can grow alone. Everything is teamwork, right? So if you make them believe in this opportunity with the same force that you are believing, and they work for that everything will go faster and smoother and beautiful so that will be my advice understand the requirements very good make a plan and stick to it and inspire your team to do the same oh, i love i love that you talked about celebrating those small victories is one you've got to have a goal you've got to know where you're going what are you shooting for right how do you know if you've arrived if you haven't set that goal sharing that with your team, helping them set their own goals because you can't get to, to founder alone, right? It's, it's all yeah. about everyone rising together and, and then taking time to celebrate. And so often we just look and say, oh yeah, we'll celebrate when I'm diamond or celebrate, you know, whenever I hit this great big monstrous goal. No, celebrate every enrollment, every milestone, right? It's, it's so, so important to really yeah. give yourself that grace and to celebrate yeah. in that moment and, celebrate and, your team. and this club it's perfect for that because you have like five different ways to earn points so yes. every time one of my of my leaders reach their power of three they're 250 it was like hey let's Yay. 
And and for some people that is like, oh, just the power of three. It was like, no, this is huge. This is a step, you know, for, for your goal. So, so yes, I mean, try to think a little bit about your future, but not next year, two years. Try to think in the next five, 10, 15 years. Where do you want to be? And and when when, when you understand can you that. You? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Do you hear me? I can't hear you anymore. Oh, Try no. Try talking again. Let's see if we can pick up your sound. Then Am I we... the only one that can't hear her? One makes... Again? Anyone in the comment. Comment if you can hear Christina. We don't you... want to miss a single word she has to share with us. Okay, let me see. Can you hear her? I still can't. But do you see me? Okay. Okay, they say they can hear you, so I think it's just me. So, can oh. you hear me? Okay, yes, yes. Okay, I can they hear can hear both of us. All right. Oh. So, at least you can hear me. I'm just going to let you carry away. Okay. Um, but, yes, I, I would love to, uh, for you to also share, if you have someone just starting today, where, where do they begin? What's your best advice for them? Okay, so first, fall in love with the products. Okay, a lot of people come to me like, hey, I want to do this next. And I always ask them, okay, do you use essential oils? No, no, I don't use essential oils. I only want to do the business. And I'm like, that's impossible. That's impossible. You need to love the oils. <laughs> so the first thing is use the products and fall in love with them and gather personal, positive personal experiences. Because when you have those experiences, it's easier, you know, to share and make other people trust in what you're saying. So after that, after you really feel in love with the products, then as my dear Alice Sherivy says, do your list <laughs> and do that list with all the people you know and, you know, learn the best way to contact them and to show them not only the product, but also the business we need to start talking more about the business we love the products we all know that but when we give the the, the people the, the the opportunity of the business we are also blessing their lives so we need to see the business as a blessing also a blessing okay okay i think they can hear me do you hear me emily words that you said but I know everything you said was beautiful because I'm seeing all of the, the comments from people and they're just lots of hearts lots of love for everything that you're sharing and you are just such a beautiful beautiful soul and we could not be more proud to have you leading the charge in doTERRA I know that you've inspired so many people I think there's another question that I'm that I've been receiving on my phone and that's they want to know, you said, I do some, you know, on online, but I don't do all of it online. So how are you finding new people to teach right now today during, during a worldwide pandemic? Well, right now I am absolutely advocate to Instagram. That's my, that's my tool. That's where I work. That's my, my personal office and my space. So right now it's very difficult. People don't want to meet that much because of the pandemic. But before the pandemic, I used to do a lot of personal meetings and people came to my house and I came to my friend's house. So I think it's just a matter of time. I think this is gonna be kind of the new normal, okay? And we're gonna be gathering each other, maybe with masks, but we're gonna be together again. So try to make a way that it works in both ways, okay? Try to use social media. It really works, people. It really works. And But don't forget, you know, that personal touch of, you know, being with people. Right now, for me, it's 100% digital, Instagram and social media. But I know someday, near, in the future, they will be together, I mean, the personal classes again. 
<laughs> I have to say that <laughs> I've got I've got John giving me line by line telling me what you're sharing. <laughs> it's it's amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's I don't so know why I can't hear you, but but you look beautiful speaking. But I know I know everything that comes out of your out of your mouth is just pure pure magic. So are there yeah. any others? We've got everyone live with us. Are there any other questions that you have? For Christine, that you would love for her to answer while we're while we're gathered here together. Yeah, they said they love the tips that you've been sharing. Total my, inspiration. My um, Instagram. Know, what's your What's your Instagram name, Christina? Amigas Naturales. Here you read. There you go. Okay. Amigas Naturales. Natural. Perfect. Yes. Love that. <laughs> Oh, thank you so, so, so much for being with us, for inspiring us all. And you've motivated me. I think, you know, as, we're, as we've been sent home, sometimes we feel all alone and we forget that connection. And you have just filled our cup so much. And I think we all just want to go out and share the beauty of, of doTERRA now and to create this beautiful team like you have built and have us all believing and knowing that we can go out and make a profound difference in the world today. You're making an amazing impact. So do you have any thank final words to share? Thank you. Thank you very much for having me and for everyone that is here listening to this live and the ones that are going to listen to it later. Please stay here. Stay here. This is, this is a beautiful opportunity. You have no idea how this can change not only your life, but the life of so many people. When I see my leaders, reaching the ranks I, I i feel so happy for them and i celebrate them because i know that i did a little bit at least a little bit to change their life too and that is the most important gift you can you can give to people right so be constant make a plan be very strategic to 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 make that plan happen and be willing to make those short-term sacrifices in order to receive those rewards in a long term. Okay? Thank you very much for having me here. It was such an honor. Uh, thank you, thank you. And I agree, there is no greater feeling than to see others recognize their potential and to really step up into that and to celebrate their successes. And you've just done a marvelous job of giving so many people an opportunity to really step into their own gifts and to change the world in their own beautiful, beautiful way. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you for sharing your heart and all of your tips. And I hope that uh, all of you leave so much more inspired. And to with our doTERRA family, we love you so very much. It has been so hard not to be with you in person. It's like we get really emotional about it, but we want to be with you and we want to hug you. And so grateful that we have opportunities like this just to remind us that our effort, everything we do matters. Everything you do is, is blessing the life of someone. And so don't be quiet. Now is the time to let your voice be heard. Right now you see this division that's happening across the world, especially on social media, and we get to bring the world together. We get to unite hearts together. We get to connect people and we get to remind them about just how very special they are and to give them something to look forward to. And that's what Christina has done, right? As we look at the Founders Club 2.0, is to give, give people something to look forward to and to come together um, for. And so we're so grateful to each and every one of you. We love you so very much. Thank you so much, Christina. You, you are magnificent. I love you so very much. Thank you, Emily. Love right, you take, too. Take care, everyone, and hope to see you very, very soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.